Santo's neck took several awkward steps backward. Its eyes began to glow again. I crouched slightly and struck an offensive pose, noting that a timer now appeared in the corner of my display, counting down from three minutes. 259, 258, there it goes. 257. Below the timer, there was a menu listing Ultraman's 50, 30, various energy five. attacks in Japanese. No KCS units I on here, so this is not a special castle. Ray, my camera's facing the other way. Then held my arms up in front of me. There you go. One horizontal and the other vertical, forming a cross. A pulsing beam of white energy shot out of my forearms, striking the Mecha Godzilla in its chest and knocking it backward. Thrown off balance, Sorrento lost control and tripped over his own mammoth feet. His mech tumbled to the ground, landing on its side. A cheer went up from the thousands of avatars watching from the chaotic battlefield around us. I launched myself into the air and flew half a kilometer straight upward. Then I dropped back down, feet first, aiming my heels directly at the Mecha go. Godzilla's curved spine. When my feet hit, I heard something inside the metal beast snap under my crushing weight. Smoke began to pour out of its mouth, and the blue glow in its eyes quickly dissipated. I executed a backflip and landed behind the supine mech in a crouch. Its single functioning arm flailed wildly while its tail and legs thrashed about. Sorrento appeared to be struggling with the controls in an effort to get the beast back on its feet. Approaching a railroad crossing.
it goes. I took out my pocket.